Ooh, I, ooh, this music is a vibe. Trade game and slice of reactions in the cut, man. Ain't nobody playing games around with you, man. Yeah, you know I'm hanging with the baby girl, blue hair, black hair. Uh, hey, the blue and black is hair right up on her head. Yeah, you know she looking really, really fine. Okay, it better be juicy, or at least remotely interesting. She needs to use the key. Immerse yourself. Yakuza started the epic saga in Yakuza Kiwami. Oh, this game's going to the Switch. I actually have this on my Steam library. I've been wanting to play this game low key with a lot of my YouTube homies Big Ryan 16, Super Mario OG, T Doug. R Star Kid, like a lot of my YouTube homies. Everybody has to cooperate, and if even one person bodies it all, everybody's cooked. Pico 2! Whoa, my boys. Um, I'm gonna have to get me some drink for this. This cup right here is empty. Before we hop into this, yeah, uh, I'll be right back. Yo, what's good with the YouTube, man? It's your boy Trey Gaming Slash Reactions bringing you guys uh, Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase to be exact. Um, now, I know a lot of these Partner Showcase Nintendo Directs aren't official Nintendo news. However, I did enjoy February's Nintendo Direct of this year as that was the same Nintendo Direct where they uh, kind of unveiled and revealed some interesting things that was in it. Um, they, they showed off, I believe they showed off Monkey Ball in that same Direct. Uh, they showed off, um, Epic Mickey, well, the one that was on Nintendo Wii and other platforms. The first installment in the Epic Mickey series was getting a remake, and I'm very hyped for that still, so can't wait for that. As well as Super Mario Party, but this ain't about first party. This is about second party or, or third party or whatever, you know, partner showcase. Um... I'm hoping some somewhat interesting things will be revealed in this. Maybe some third-party 3DS games are going to be coming back. Like maybe we, we probably just got some new third-party 3DS games onto the Switch. Because last Nintendo Direct, well, the last partner showcase I react to, they gave us uh, Monster Hunter Stories, which is a fun game. Um, that was a 3DS title, and that is on Switch now. Well, the very first installment. Uh, they made a sequel of that that was on Switch, and I guess they figured, ah, might, might as well get the first installment of Monster Hunter Stories. Then we'll just drop that on the Switch right with the sequel. Um, but, you know, just wanted to explain a few things that you could expect from these Nintendo Direct Partner Showcases for those of you who come to watch my reactions of it. Uh, Y'all know it's not official Nintendo news, but there is some slightly interesting things that are in these directs. This is an indie world. I don't think I've ever reacted to these type of directs, but we're about to hop into it. Make sure you guys like the video if you have not done so already. It really means a lot. It helps out with YouTube's algorithm. Uh, use and abuse that like button as it is very important, and that like button definitely deserves to be used and abused. So be sure to do that. Subscribe if you are new and you're viewing. If you're liking any of the content on this platform, definitely be sure to subscribe if anything on this platform has piqued your interest. Let's get into it. Okay. So a partner Hello, showcase we'll slash indie world. indie world. Showcase Never reacted to this type of direct. direct. Partner showcase back to back. So they're like, are they going to be back to back? They're going to be switching between? Oh, they, of course they start with Indie World. I don't know what Indie World is. Is it like Indie Games or something like that? I mean, I, the only Indie game that I know of is Shovel Knight and Undertale, which are two golden games. Hi, everyone, and welcome to Indie World. I'm Amber. And I'm Andrew. We're back with more indie games headed to the Nintendo Switch system. All right, it's time to lay our cards on the table. Sure thing. Wait, why is there a Joker in my hand? A Here's Joker? Deal. What is this? A new Joker game? For uh, Persona? Nah, this is this is a regular co play card game. Ah, uh, okay. That's something I would be interested in. Bring on some more third-party content. Oh, this is The Witcher? Oh, it's a card game based on The Witcher. 
Still not something I'm interested in. Uh, give me The Witcher minus the card aesthetic game. Uh, just, just give me The Witcher minus that. Minus the card, bro. Like, take the card out of it. What? Among Us is in this too? Okay. That makes it slightly more interesting. So we got The Witcher and Among Us in this. Okay. I mean, I, I think it was Among Us there that made it interesting for me. El nostre joc és una història de maternitat on els jugadors assumeixen el rol de l'Alba. Començarà la seva aventura al costat d'una petita lloba anomenada Neva. Els capítols inicials del joc mostraran com l'Alba haurà d'encoratjar i protegir una jove Neva dels perills del seu món. Però al final del joc, una Neva més gran i ferotge es convertirà en la protectora de la seva figura materna, l'Alba. El equipo ha estado trabajando duro para mostrar una conmovedora perspectiva sobre cómo quienes nos protegen eventualmente necesitarán nuestro cariño y cuidados también. Estamos encantados de poder compartir las últimas novedades del juego y esperamos que os unáis a Alba y Neva en su aventura en Nintendo Switch. Okay, thankfully they didn't talk that long because I didn't know what the heck they were saying. <laughs> I wasn't going to keep up with the subtitles. Y'all know I can't read subtitling that fast. Um, I was thinking about cutting that out, but thankfully they didn't talk that fast. Um, what game is this? This looks like some... Um, some uh what is it was it what smg was talking about uh holy night game Ooh. Ooh. yeah this looked like some holy Ooh. night which i am familiar with this the style and aesthetic of that um i don't know if that's how he said it but it was it was something like that he mentioned it in the last nintendo direct when there was another game i looked at that looked kind of like Little nightmares or something like that, and he said it looked like whole Ooh. night. Creep and crawl your way up the corporate ladder of a bizarre insect megacorp that's buzzing with mysteries. In this surreal RPG, you'll take on the oh, role it's an RPG, of Cuban, an ordinary employee who's recently received a promotion. But this is no time to celebrate. Yo, this slightly a looks like Undertale. This event known as the final process is looming. This slightly and looks like Undertale. Bug save the company. Or even reality itself. I might, and y'all know, uh, well, I, I've talked about Undertale in my most recent stream that I did. Uh, the New Super Mario Bros. Wii playthrough stream, where we played from World 1 to 4. Um, I might get into this, because I, I like Undertale, and this, this is giving me Undertale vibes, and uh, Mother vibes. Mother, if y'all are familiar with Mother. I like Mother as well. Mock Cubit. Ah, uh, what? You're gonna make us hey wait? Guys. Ray J and Dio from Tokyo Productions in Indonesia. Please, no more part of different Tokyo language, team. please. And with our much missed friend and the original creator, Fahmi. What is, what is with this Tokyo camera Tokyo quality? Y'all, hey, oh, never mind, they were paused, okay. Stein, again, Not me director. trying to disc and roast their the camera quality and, and they were literally paused, okay. Junkie at Toge. Hi, I'm Okawa. Okay. A writer and uh, English to Japanese. Well, at least now I can understand what y'all are saying. To work on the Japanese translations of both Kofito games. Today, we are thrilled to announce that we are partnering with Coros to expand the Coffee Talk. World. I like how they're doing We've that. They're like going around when they're done talking, then somebody else is unpaused. When they're done talking, then somebody else is. I like that. Something new to the table. And now, we're very proud to announce an exciting new game for Coffee Talk fans. Coffee, Coffee Talk, Talk Tokyo. Tokyo. Okay, you're talking about a new game now. Coffee Talk Tokyo. Coffee, what, what are we going to be doing in 2025 in releases? We're, what are we going to be doing? Drinking? Oh, this music is a vibe, bro. Uh. Yeah. Yeah, look at little baby girl right there. She looking fine. Trade game slash reaction. You know I'm with the girl. Uh. Yeah, Yo, you know this music is a vibe. Yeah. Uh. 
Okay. 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 Uh. Trade gaming slash reactions in the cut, man. Ain't nobody playing games around with you, man. Yeah, you know I'm hanging with the baby girl, blue hair, black hair. Uh. Hey, the blue and black is hair right up on her head. Yeah, you know she looking really, really fine, man. You know I really, really want to kiss her, Trade gaming. Give a kiss over the cheek. Uh. Give. A okay, stop. Y'all can't, bro. Y'all can't blame me. This music is a vibe. I might just get into this game just for the just the vibe with the music. Uh, I, bro, they know what is this music from the game or is, is this just? I hope this is music from the game. Oh, oh my God! Ah, really? <laughs> okay. Dude was looking at me. Do y'all see how he was looking at me like Trey Gaming? Really? Right, I'm just gonna point that out. We can't just skip over that. Dude was like, really Trey Gaming? Really? All right, stop. Discover oh, guys. miniature clockwork world in the Sea of Stars, throws of the Watchmaker. Okay, Sea of Stars. Gear up for a journey full of. Yet again, another interesting looking game. Is this an RPG? New rules to put a stop to a cursed carnival. Zael will transform. Uh, this is. This looks interesting. While Valir will dazzle as an acrobat. Together with new playable character Artie, they'll explore new areas and battle through dangerous dungeons in their quest to save the world of Orlidge. A malevolent spectacle awaits when this free DLC for Sea of Stars launches. Oh, this is DLC for this game. Spring. Okay. A sea of Stars. I might have to look into that. Hey, get out of my swamp! Swamp? Hey, what, what is this? Is this Shrek? This swamp has what? Players. Get out of my swamp! To be blasted away. Ugh, fine. I'm Shrek. Ogre it anyway. A muddy good time awaits in the Shrek Special Pack paid DLC for Power Wash Simulator. Feel like an Here I'm thinking we're getting the actual Shrek game. Covering five fairy tale maps from the Shrek universe. Bro, tell me why he looked like Wart from Mario Bros. Three. And the dragons. Or was it two Mario Bros. Two? Shiny suit of armor with a new knight themed character model. And get your power washing game on when the Shrek Special Pack DLC makes a splash on the Nintendo Switch system this fall. Hi, I'm Sam. And I'm Toby. Our team has been working on a uh, I like the GI, the GIF in the background, the GIF in the background. The of wicked That's cool. <laughs> using magical cards to transform into a bunch of weird little monsters. It's a challenging roguelike. Oh, look at the cat! I didn't even notice it. When I first pitched muscles four years ago. Oh, look at the cat, man. Shoot it. This is a genre I love. Since then, with the help of Sam and our programmer Higgy, we've been able to turn it into something much cooler and efficient. I hope when people play more souls, they enjoy the frenetic action, but are also charmed by the game's personality. Please enjoy the first ever trailer for our strange little game. Thank you. Strange little game. Y'all already know, strange most of the time is means good. If somebody says that a game they're making is strange, there's a chance it's probably good. <sighs> There's a mouse. What happens? What's happening to the mouse? Is he on acid? What? Ah, uh, ah, uh, yeah. Uh, I'm not gonna rap to it, man. Y'all don't want to hear me rap again. Woohoo! Yo, I, I see how they, they hit it with that. Woo! Uh. Uh, is, is it? No, I thought it was RPG. Uh, yeah, this game is really weird. Uh, I don't know if I want to play it. Uh, really interesting game. Uh, uh, I messed up right there, but we about to bring it back. Game look really interesting, but he just got what? Uh, yeah, I don't even know what I'm looking at. Uh, yeah, what? Huh? What the heck am I looking? Okay. What type of buses? What is? What are the materials in your game made out of? Is it m mouses? What? What is? Hey there! They say home is where the heart is. Sims. And that's especially true for this next game. 
That's right. Household objects, appliances, and even concepts turn into eligible love interests in Date Everything. Sims. A game in which you can, in fact, date pretty much everything. What? With 100 dateable characters, there are plenty of unconventional partners to choose from. Is this one of them um love with weird the cabinet. hint uh, Become hint games on the eShop? Or come to despise Bro, love. who put Your great value during right here? Sense of existential dread. Um, I think I'll pass on Doug. Can I fall in love with a lamp? No. Doug is low key a great, of great value. But did you know that you could parody of of Jiren himself? Why don't I introduce you to Textbox Chan? Engage in flirtation. Okay, Textbox Chan kind of bad. Oh, I I I'll stop. As you get to know them and form meaningful relationships. Perish the thought, swashbuckler. I drive as quick as my wit. Bring your best dating game because your choices could result not just in love, but also in friendship. Or even disdain. Find the object of your affection when Date Everything launches on Nintendo Switch October 24th. Pause on a title like that. Well, Hi, I'm Sienna, the lead artist on Date Everything. And I'm Dylan. The um, I hope there's no animals in the game. What? Games. The two of us created the first version of Peglin at a game jam in 2019. The theme of the jam was fall, and we wanted to create something fun and physics-y. We ended up creating the first version of Peglin's battle system. Okay. When the pandemic started, working on Peglin... Yo, he looks like, um, baby, uh, what's his name? From Star Wars. We then added two of our friends... Baby Yoda. That's what he looked like. And now, four years later, we're a team of seven, and we're excited to bring Peglin to Nintendo Switch. The dragons oh. have been stealing your gold for as long as you can remember. So wait, this wasn't on the Switch? Time to delve into the heart of their lair and exact your revenge with the power of pegs. Oh, this is like an RPG. Like a puzzle RPG. RPG. You'll aim orbs and hit pegs to deal damage in turn-based battles. Okay, so this the is basically a... Hit, the more devastating the blow you'll deal to your enemies. Okay, this is a puzzle Now RPG. Now a victory with a variety of different orbs. Some can split into multiple copies. Others will pierce both pegs and enemies. Yo, this look kind of hard, though. And some will even heal you for every peg you hit. I don't mean hard. Like, this This looks kind of difficult and complicated. Have some peculiar properties, too. They can explode, help you unlock the critical power of your orbs, and more. With careful planning and aiming, you can create some spectacular combos. Relics will radically change your game, too. Equip these rare passive power-ups to prevent lethal damage or turn pegs into bombs. Just to name a few. Each run presents new opportunities for possible combinations. I will agree, though. Uh, well, I will admit, when Peglin the art style of this game as a time is really interesting. Later today. It looks like it kind of the art style give me like um, shovel knight vibes. What in the Animal Crossing is this? King Kong, what? Okay. Oh, this game's going to the Switch? Watch out for the caterpillar. I actually have this on my Steam library. You're doing great so far. Yo. Careful. There's a Andrew. Rico the Giant was playing this with the homies Burleezy, uh Corey S. Kingston and a few other people. We're time together. Yeah, Rico the Grant uh the Giant. I always see his last name is, and think it says Grant. But it's not. It's All it's right, giant. Let's slow it down. Um, Rico the giant and Koya's Kitchen and Berlizzi and them was playing this. We make a great team. Now let's try it with eight players. Oh boy! As you can see, cooperation. I've been wanting to play this game low key with a lot of my YouTube homies. Eight players. Um, work together to Big Ryan 16, Super Mario OG, and them. Other obstacles. Uh, T Doug. 
coordinated movement and puzzle solving skills to fight. Uh, R Star Kid, enemies. like a lot of my YouTube like homies. There are more than 60 um, levels, and each one can be completed no matter how many Because you gotta, like, you, you gotta complete Speaking puzzles and whatnot. And it, everybody has to cooperate, and if even one person bodies it all, everybody's cooked. And your friendships will be put to the ultimate test. Yeah, Get like a ready for multiplayer mischief. He, 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 he got body jumps. Pico two as a time console exclusive later today. What? So how is the first one on PC? And and there's a second one. Future. Nah, y'all gotta drop that on um. Yeah, I'm I'm gonna have to cop Pico too. I'm gonna have to cop that because I have the first one. Shovel Knight. I'm gonna have to cop the second one because I have the first one in my Steam library on my gaming laptop. Ethiopia? Is that what that says? Was this a 3DS title? Pico 2? Y'all can't just make Pico 2 a console exclusive like that. Oh, uh. What in the ranker and claxing is this? Uh. Ranking and clax? I don't think I said it right. It's a, it's a PlayStation title. Ooh. I'm not gonna trigger him to stop. I'm not gonna even try to see if I can say the name right. I know the name, but I can't think right now. Cause Pico, Pico 2, and then they said something about Shovel Knight. Um. Y'all can't just make Pico 2 a console exclusive. Okay, that's all How is that? Show. Okay, this. Hey, where'd you get that pizza? I found it in that tower over there. Miscellaneous conversations? Tower. Okay, that's it for Indie World. <laughs> Okay, there's this guy again. Oh, what is that? What is that? Oh, it's now. Okay, I will admit that indie uh that indie direct was actually the indie world was kind of interesting. I'm not going to hold you guys. No cap, no cap. Yo, why why is this on some Disney Mickey type uh type stuff, bro? Like the Disney Mickey game that's on Switch. This is on this is on some Disney Mickey type of stuff. I remember this guy, the Apple dude. They made memes out of him. Okay, available later today. I was later on reacting to this, that's so that's already available. Indie world. We hope you enjoyed oh, the we were still in the indie world. Okay, I thought that was it. As they always, had one more thing to show. Thank you to our indie community and partners making games for Nintendo Switch. Follow our official Indie World account to stay up to date. Honestly, all out of all of what I've seen in the indie world, I think Pico Park might be the most interesting. Updates in today's Nintendo Direct Other things was interesting in it too, but Pico Park right 2 stood out Until to me the most. Next time, happy, happy gaming! Happy gaming, my boys. Live gaming, breathe gaming, gaming for life. I'll stop. Alright, so now we, now we commenced the Nintendo Direct. Nintendo, give us some fire. We already kind of started off with a little bit of a little, little bit of spicy. Hello, I ain't gonna say fire, Welcome but we start off with a little Nintendo bit of Direct spicy, Partners a little bit. Showcase. In this presentation, give us some fire, we'll Nintendo. Focusing on Nintendo Switch games launching in the second half of 2024 from our publishing and development partners. Okay, let's get into the headlines. I want to see some 3DS games come back. These games are falling into place. Whoa, whoa, whoa! What is this? What is this? Is this Block Boy? Oh, never mind. I I'm thinking this Block Boy. Celebrate the this is just textures. Textures? How many textures games are y'all gonna games. gonna unleash? Experience the 1988 Famicom version of Tetris. 
Okay, it's just Tetris. Machine combos using explosions in Tetris 2. I mean, we have Tetris online on Switch already, but. Use special moves to win in Tetris Battle Guided. I guess this was like some more previous Tetris games. Museum, okay. Including the games shown here. So kind of like a Pac-Man uh, Namco Museum. In addition, enjoy the brand new Tetris Time Warp, where you'll jump between gameplay styles from across the series. Okay. You can also watch new documentary clips about the history of Tetris and its key players. Tetris Forever drops onto the Nintendo Switch system this year. Bro, I want Block Boy to come Plus, back. The NES version of Tetris. Oh, uh, Box is Boy. To who who remembers Switch Box Boy? This winter. Those were like two fun 3DS games that I low key just and forgot about. The lookout for a Tetris. But I just remembered it just now. Event. Also coming this winter. Yeah, Box Boy. Oh man, I remember Speed I did Box Boy back the in the day. Box Boy needs to come back. Is that I don't think I don't think we have a title of that on Switch. Sci-fi adventure. After receiving a mysterious distress signal, you'll venture through a massive alien world. Okay, this on some Xenoblade Chronicles. Uh type of art style to explore stunning landscapes filled with all sorts of alien structures from scorching sands to wavy waters. Each area will challenge your traversal skills. Along the way, you'll face enemies in frenetic melee combat. Oh, whoa, Along we're fighting Pokemon? What? Different abilities. You can find more creative ways to overcome foes. You can also customize the hoverboard to match your riding style, solve puzzles, and gather resources to boost its speed, steering, gravity, and more. Whether you're racing through terrain at high speeds or in the throes of combat, the hoverboard will be there to help you. Leave no stone unturned as you explore every corner of this vast planet. You never know what or who you'll find. Star Overdrive launches as a timed exclusive on Nintendo Switch next year. Do whatever floats your goat. Goat Simulator? Welcome to the vast island of San Angora, where you'll take on the role of a goat. We're not kidding. In this sprawling sandbox adventure, what is this? Flick and explode your way across the island. Wreak havoc on anything and everything. Yo, you they're trying to get their stray on. Town, and they failed. Class, they failed tremendously. The locals. You can do all of that. They're trying to get their stray on. Quests and gain karma to progress the story. Yeah, I can't be like stray. Customization options from fashionable nonsense like floral shirts and inflatable tubes to goat variants, including tall, angry, and even tasty goats. So what? Up and grab your Those are other... Okay, this board. is a weird game. And you're not the only belligerent building around here. Unleash all sorts of bad mischief in two-player... That was a bad joke. Hope you're ready to hoof it, because the digital version of Goat Simulator 3 rams its way onto Nintendo eShop later today. So this is basically the Goat Simulator. Game launches on Nintendo Switch this November. Here's a rapid-fire mix of first reveals and game updates coming to Nintendo Switch. Oh, so we got some updates that are coming through. Uh, the Legend of Heroes Tales of this. Okay. Um, this is an interesting looking game. Monster Hunter? Oh, Star Wars Hunters. I was just looking at this just now, making me think that we need Call of Duty on the Switch. When are we gonna get a Call of Duty title on the Switch? Or on the next console? We we need we need to start getting some Call of Duty titles on 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 Nintendo consoles, man. Uh Disney Dreamlight Valley. I remember this game. Make Bikini Bottom your playground. Okay, what's this? A new SpongeBob game? Yo, why is he hitting that like that? Okay, pause, pause, Patrick, Patrick, pause. The silly sea star from SpongeBob SquarePants stars in this physics-based sandbox adventure. Oh, okay. Bikini Bottom is your oyster. Ah. 
Another thing I would probably get into. Another thing I would likely get into. This looks interesting. Treasure in the dump, or even blowing off steam in Mrs. Pop's rage room. That's whoa, man. Items you find from exploding pies to paint tubes to make the world more Patrick y. Ugh, Patrick. Ugh. Familiar face here. Oh, we got Gary here. Challenges from SpongeBob, Sandy, Squidward, and more. Love. Hey, you turn out the lights. Bro, that's your house. Shorts and the inner That's the way your house is, bro. Mind. When SpongeBob SquarePants, the Patrick Star game launches on Nintendo Switch October 4th. What do you mean who turned off the lights? Did you forget your house is, is dark all the time? Ready for your very own personal trainer? What is okay, we fit? What is Okay, let's get started. What in the we fit is this? Oh no, this ain't we fit. The latest entry in the fitness boxing series. Oh, fitness is boxing. its way onto Nintendo Switch. Newly added features make it easier to train more regularly. Use Quick Workout to jump into an exercise program right after launching the game. Right. Put the touches together, but it looks like you've got more in you. Once you're done, try. She got a bad. I'll stop. With an extra workout. With mitt drills, you'll practice with your instructor at your own pace. Looking good. And in sit fit boxing, you can complete exercise programs while seated for a different training experience. 30 brand new songs are included. There are also six instructors, including two new ones. Two bad ones. Plus, I'll stop. you can change their hairstyles. Let them motivate you as you work toward your goals. Nice. Fitness Boxing 3, your personal trainer, launches on the Nintendo Switch system December 5th. This is going to be a match to remember. Eight Capcom fighting games are brawling their way onto Nintendo Switch in Bro. collection. Where is Street Fighter 6 for Switch? Capcom versus SNK Millennium Fight 2000 Pro. Capcom versus SNK 2 Mark of the Millennium 2001. Project Justice. Capcom Fighting Evolution. Street Fighter Alpha 3 Upper. Plasma Sword Nightmare of Pilstein. Power Stone. And Power Stone 2. I, that I think that might be worth checking out. Training mode and is playable online. Of course it is, because why wouldn't it be? A game I might have to jump into. The museum to enjoy artwork and music from each game. So this is kind of like the uh, the Marvel versus Capcom thing that was released. They just made a okay. They made a different collection of uh, jump into Capcom. When Marvel vs. Capcom Fighting Collection Arcade Classics Hyper Combos its way onto Nintendo Switch September 12th. Isn't it already on Switch? Begin later today on Nintendo eShop. The physical version of the game launches on Nintendo Switch November 22nd. Isn't it Marvel vs. Capcom already on Switch? That was in a previous Nintendo Direct. That was literally like the last Nintendo Direct it was in. Uh, whoa, my boys. Um, I'm gonna have to go get me some drink for this. This cup right here is empty. Before we hop into this, yeah, uh, I'll be right back. My, my, my mouth was kind of dry a little bit. Okay, what game is this? Okay, why are we bodying animals like this? What? Um.
Yo, what anime type of action is is this? When this come out? Early 2020. Um, why is she posing like that? I might just have to jump in that just for just casual play. Um, what? Brand new protagonist. All right, let's see some. I might just hop into that just for some casual play. Adventures and allies await in these. If y'all want to play through. Let your boy know. HD we can definitely hop into a playthrough. The first two Suikoden games are coming to Nintendo Switch in one bundle. Meet and befriend up to 108 allies in these turn-based RPGs. During your travels, you can strengthen your home base and expand your spheres of influence while fighting for your cause. This collection adds new support features like the ability to speed up combat and automate battles with a single button. Suikoden 1 oh. HD Remaster. Kate Rune and do not so it's, it's wars launches on Nintendo Switch March 6th. This is a HD remaster of a game that was the HD okay. 2D remake of Dragon Quest 3 draws near. When does this come out? It's been a good minute. Selecting their vocations, you can now customize their appearance, voice, and more. With the new Monster Wrangler vocation, you can use monster like abilities to fight enemies and heal allies. There may also be places where you can put monsters to use, but that's for another time. Dragon Quest 3 HD 2D. We got my boy Slime on to Nintendo Switch November 14th. Oh, and my birthday month. Today on Nintendo We Shop. We definitely got to look into that. I'm going to look back at Three this Nintendo Direct to see what games are going to uh, probably be getting into. Dawn of Sorrow, Portrait of Ruin, and Order of Ecclesia. These were DS Rise games? Again in a single collection. <clears throat> Arcade classic Haunted Castle is also included. It looks like some uh, Castlevania type of stuff. This is this on some Castlevania. Is this Castlevania? Art and a music player. I think this is Castlevania. Yeah, this is. Collection launches on the Nintendo Switch system later today. Okay. Build something you believe in. The award-winning strategy series returns with Sid Meier's Civilization VII. Rule as one of many legendary historical figures, including newly added leaders such as Queen Himiko. Friendship is her strength, and she can initiate diplomatic endeavors that help you research new technologies, expand your territory, establish your empire across the map, and conquer or cooperate with rival civilizations. You can even create your own path through history by choosing different civs with each new age. In the modern age, you can evolve your empire into Meiji Japan, known for its scientific strength and military force. Plus, you and your friends can see your kingdoms collide in online or local play. Can you create an empire that stands the test of time? Turn the page on a revolution. I mean, this this look like some Sid Meier's class Sid of clans Sid type. Seven launches on the Nintendo Switch system February. Uh, not not interesting to me. It looked like some class of clans type of stuff. E-shop. You do all that type of stuff in Class of Clans or whatever the the name of the game is. I don't know if I said the right name. I might have got two games from stuff, and I might have not. The remaster of the action RPG Tales of Graces F. Yeah, I know I'm a sucker for anime type of games like this. Um, I might I might hop into this. Alright, she's bad. I'll stop. Lifelong friends. Several years have since passed. With their strong friendship and desire to protect their loved ones, the now grown up trio get entangled in a conflict that will determine the. So, this is an RPG. This I might, I might, whoa. Enhancements like destination icons and toggling enemy encounters. I might have to definitely hop well into this. Downloadable content from the original game. I might have to definitely hop into this. When is this drop? Tales of Graces, Tales of Graces. Remastered launches on Nintendo of course. Switch January 17th. Of course it launches in 2025. Two adorable adventures, one cozy bundle.
help is wanted. Help is wanted. Is that? I think you've got what it takes. That's dropping on Switch. Perilous pizzeria. This was on um. This is obviously a PC game. First person horror game. But it's dropping on piece. Uh, Switch. Pizzeria. You'll have what job duties such as helping performers prep for a show in the Pizzaplex salon, getting high scores by playing nostalgic arcade mini games, and hopping on attractions like a log ride. Sounds easy enough, right? But you'll be doing all of this while avoiding. Whoa! 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 whoa. Become I feel like I'm actually playing Help Wanted right now. Superstar in Five Nights at Freddy's Help Wanted 2. Launching Five Nights at Freddy's in a Nintendo holiday. Direct. And Never thought I'd see it if happen. If you're looking for more adventures in the Mega Pizza Plex, help Cassie find her friend and escape the ruins in this free story DLC for Five Nights at Freddy's Security Breach. Launching on Nintendo Switch. Oh, this Ruin? No, nah, don't show me Ruin, bro. I still haven't hopped into that game yet. I'm not trying to get spoiled. I'm not trying to get spoiled. I need to do that game on the channel. I still need to do that game on the channel. And I might actually tackle Help Wanted as well. Did I just see Jess dance? Epic Mickey. That's next. That's this month. I thought that was in October. Uh, we got some EA Sports in up in uh, up in here. Okay. All right, Lego Horizons Adventure. I remember they talked about this. I'm low key. Some of the Lego games I need to get into. Maybe on the channel. Uh, what's this? Y'all not gonna fight, right? Bro, why are you fighting the shorty? Why are you? Welcome to the Eastern Nation of Azuma. After a calamity struck, the energy sources known as runes ceased to exist, and the land fell into decline. Okay. In this fresh take on the Rune Factory series, step into a bigger adventure than ever before. Yo, why does this look like a PC dance, game? You'll channel the spiritual powers of nature through dance. Use the sacred drum to help crops grow faster. And the sacred parasol to summon rain. Why do we have the mix forming into this, bro? Dancer abilities can revitalize it's like land. it's forming, but it's not. Restore this once fruitful region to cultivate fields. Nah, this is forming. Construct houses and more to revive nature and establish prospering villages. Venture through the enchanting lands of Azuma, but beware, monsters may lie in wait. Okay, now we're getting into some juicy stuff. Okay. To confront them and restore certain monsters to their human forms. Okay, now we now we on that monster hunter tip. As you settle into village life, get to know the community. I see bad. I'll stop. And deepen your relationships to find friendship or even romance. Who knows? She bad too. Wedding could even be on the horizon. Trade game and stop. Experience a beloved series reimagined. She's bad too. I'll I keep doing it. In Rune Factory, Guardians of Azuma, launching on Nintendo Switch next spring. I don't know why. I, okay, ignore all that. Will be our last announcement. <laughs> last announcement. Please take a look. Okay, it better be juicy or at least remotely interesting. Immerse yourself. Yakuza. Started the epic saga in Yakuza Kiwami. Meet Kazuma Kiryu, a Yakuza accused of murdering his clan's patriarch, and Haruka, a young girl on the run. 
two individuals whose fates intertwine. Set in Kamurocho, Yakuza the Entertainment District, Kiryu must navigate the twists and turns of Tokyo's underworld while confronting rival gangs. Swap between four fighting styles in real time combat. Bro! Fight bare knuckle. Bro! Yourself with makeshift weapons. On and switch? Go up against anything in your way. There are also plenty of distractions to be found in Kamurocho. So take a break from brawling every once in a while. Okay, he, he's with his daughter? Alright. That's not his daughter, actually. But, um. Shoot, it, she might as well be his daughter. They got like the same type of storyline. Or they're, they're, both of their fates are kind of the same. October. That's all for okay. today's Nintendo Direct Partner Showcase. Thank you for watching. Okay, I will I will admit I'm gonna give y'all my rating after this is over. Wow. Wow. Some things in this was kinda weird. First off, well, I'm, we're gonna rate it eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. I feel like this deserves an eight out of ten. I, I, definitely an eight. I, I I'm not gonna go back on it. Patrick Sandbox game, Yakuza. That one anime game with the girl with the purple hair with the pigtails. The game just looks kind of interesting to me, and I think I would. I hate it comes out in 2025. Uh, but that's another game that I would really just want to get into just for the casual play of it and uh, the plot. Um, very interesting. Now, there's, I can't talk about everything that was in this because I can't. Your, your, your boy's mind can't comprehend like I can't remember all that was in this just just certain things that mostly stick out stick stuck out to me pause uh Pico Park 2 uh, they can't make that a console exclusive Nintendo or, who, or not Nintendo but whoever is uh the creators of that game don't make that a console exclusive the first one's on PC and other platforms I think I don't know um overall though very spicy direct. I, I'd say it's a pretty spicy direct. Um, eight out of ten. What What were you guys' thoughts on this? Uh, or, or if you guys, if, if y'all have seen it yet, or if you've went to go watch it and now you're here, back here watching my reaction. What were you guys' thoughts on it? There were some interesting things that was in this direct. I, bro, don't knock partnership showcase directs. Or yeah, partner showcase directs. Partner Showcase Directs sometimes slap. They're not internet breaking, of course, or anything like that. But Partner Showcase Directs, they slap sometimes. And I and I, I think I think I might be now I might be kind of interested in some of the indie world things too that uh, Nintendo does uh, when they kind of like when they kind of do like an indie slash Nintendo Partner Showcase. This this is probably like the last direct of the year. That I should have mentioned this at the beginning of the video. There was another direct. Um, I don't plan on reacting to it. Uh, I have watched probably like a few couple seconds of it. It's the Nintendo Museum direct. Uh, I definitely got to get back at that. Uh, rumors have it that uh, they're trying to put everybody's me character on display in that museum. I don't know how like you go by doing that. It's, it's they just basically show it off like the whole museum. I still got to watch the rest of the direct. You know that was slightly off topic. But yo, tell me you guys' thoughts on this. Did you guys enjoy this direct? Was there a few interesting things in this that stuck out to you? I sure know it was some interesting things in this that really stuck out to me that I was intrigued in and I could definitely get immersed in if I had if if, if, if I if I end up getting my hands on it, any of the games that really stuck out to me mostly in this direct, I would be immersed for sure. I I, I would be immersed. Um but yo, make sure you guys like the video if you have not done so already. It really means a lot. It's very important, you know, for you guys to attack that like button. So be sure to use and abuse that like button. Subscribe to the channel if you are new and you're viewing anything on this channel. If it has piqued your interest, definitely consider to subscribe each and every time I upload. That way you guys will get uh, gameplays, playthroughs, and reaction content like this uh, in your notification box. 
uh, up on you clicking the notification bell. So definitely be sure to do so if anything has piqued your interest on the channel here. And we're going to end the video off. Um, I mean, there's nothing else for me to say. I could sit here and rant, but it would just, my ranting would be all over the place because it's, my, my mind ain't, you know, I, I, I don't have like a, uh, I don't, I don't have a, a calm mind right now, put it like that, because uh, there was kind of a lot that was shown in this. And for me to sit, like, I would have to do like an analysis type of video where I just kind of like sit down and just go through things. And maybe that's something I could do in the future. But I definitely enjoyed this direct. Uh, again, definitely not nothing uh, internet breaking. But it slapped. And I will admit that it slapped. So, peace out, guys. Take care. Hopefully, you guys enjoyed. And I am out. Peace out.